Reef DVMs here. Um, got the 5055E John Deere set for winter. Just thought we'd kind of go through and review how it all came together. Um, end of November, went and took the uh, new farm truck that we did the earlier video on. Uh, loaded up the tractor, took it about 80 miles. Um, the tractor's got a 55.3 um, front end loader on it that's got the um, standard attachments for a skid steer. Um, we picked ourselves up a Boss um, skid steer plow, hooked it up to the front of it, drove it back on the tractor and drove it home. Did absolutely fantastic. Um, pickup really does well with all this weight. I'm quite impressed for a half ton. Anyways, here it is. It basically hooks up with two hydraulic hoses and um, again standard uh, skid steer attachments there on the front of that loader on the 50, uh, 55E John Deere. Um, got great gas mileage pulling it up here. Uh, trailer held up well. Um, should be a great uh, a winter blade for us. This blade is about seven and a half feet long and um, it can do left, right, tip, tilt, you know, everything with the hydros on it, uh, which is great. I uh, had to adjust the feet a little bit because we're plowing out here on gravel roads. So, bang, zoom, uh, December 9th hits. In the Minnesota area, that dropped about 15 inches of snow. So that night, uh, just to even keep up, um, we had to give this beast a, a workout and try it out. Uh, there's definitely a learning curve to plowing this way. Because um, I'm not used to plowing with a skid steer blade on a tractor. Um, but it worked really well. As you can see, this tractor has no chains, no wheel weights, um, no water in its tires, but it just effort effortlessly pushes this uh, boss uh, trip edge uh, plow. I kind of like the trip edge because if it accidentally digs into the gravel a little bit, the, the blade will actually uh, last six inches of it there at the bottom, will actually trip backwards um, and save you from wrecking your, your driveway. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and low it doesn't get interfere with any of the headlights of the tractor so you can see over it quite easily um, with the bucket system obviously you can certainly raise it up with whatever height you want you can put whatever angle and tip you want I'm still experimenting with it but uh, the tractor here ran great I like the fact that this particular unit um, does have joystick controls. That's one thing John Deere did really well with the 5055E tractors. It's um, got a nice hydraulic joystick, um, which allows you to pretty much operate the blade easily and effortlessly. I like that. This tractor, remember, is not hydrostatic, so you have to kind of shift gears between forward and reverse. Um, so it takes me a little bit of time there, as you can see. I'm not quite the smoothest at it, but uh, I'll certainly get better at it. The snow here started to come back and blow that night again. Um, unfortunately, it uh, started to pick up wind-wise, too. So we managed to clear it out, uh, but only for the time being. The snow started coming back, so we decided to tackle it again in the morning. Here we are again in the morning. Pretty cold this morning, uh, about 10 degrees out. Uh, again, this tractor system has started up without being in a barn or anything from sitting outside, which is great. Uh, now the ground is a little bit more frozen from where we plowed the night before, so it made it a little easier. Um, as you can see, uh, unfortunately, some of the driveway has completely shut itself back in, but uh, not a problem for this big rig. Again, uh, we put that boss blade down and uh, Put it in about second gear and just took our time and went right down the road here. Um, kind of had to reopen the whole thing back up. Um, it drifted shut between maybe a foot and a half and two feet deep. Uh, but there was no no problems whatsoever. Um, this hill's got about a two, two and a half percent grade going down it. And as you can see here in a minute, coming back up, it didn't even slide or skip or anything. I was quite impressed. Considering I was wondering if this tractor was going to need uh, chains to be able to push with this kind of heavy uh, plow in the front of it. The plow weighs about 800 pounds, by the way. And again, there's no there's no ballast in the back of this tractor. So I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do it, but as you can see, it did it really nicely. Um, I had literally an effort, effort, effortless time just driving it. It, uh, it was pretty smooth. It has the float system in it hydraulically so basically it can take the contours of the driveway here as it rocks and rolls up up and down and 
in this last part of the driveway where it goes up to about a 3% hill climb there. It was just no big deal. It just went right up it. Can't speak highly enough. The plow boss system there, I really like uh, I really like how it operates. Um, I like the fact that it's they got a universal skid steer attachment and it just instantly attaches to the front end of a loader like the 553 here on this uh, 5055E John Deere. As we get up to the top here, I'll show you at least some of the range of motion that I have with it. So basically one hand, I can very easily do left and right. Um, which is kind of nice. Um, I can also do obviously up and down. I know it's hard to show you that, uh, but tipping it also can do. So it can tip forward and backwards, so you can set the angle of tip. And without even getting off the tractor, that's quite nice. This should end up being just a great plow for us for the year. Um, hopefully, it uh, continues to work well as it's done for this first big snow. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment uh, on the video here. Um, click like or subscribe to our channel and we'll continue to produce videos like this. And the more people who subscribe and like the video, the more uh, videos like this will put out. Thank you folks.